Let me start my presentation. Next. Okay. Time International. Next. So, here we are. Okay. We actually exist already in 1960. Yeah. It's already almost like, I don't know, how many years already. So, it's the second generation already. Our founder is still there. Our founder is still active building the company. Actually, our founders are the one who initiate these digital transformations. So, along the years, we carry three local brands, okay, and 43 worldwide brands, well not renowned brands, okay. Some, and we also one of the only one Rolex authorized uh, care centers. We are the only one in Indonesia, okay, where. All the watch masters actually train in Geneva. Okay, okay. Next. So this is what we are now. We have 100 boutiques. Okay, three house brand, 42 brands. We have in time, time place, urban icon. Okay. If you know about fossil, okay, urban icon is the fossil house for Indonesia, and 42 brand below, definitely. I bet is one of your favorite, okay? Or at least those brands become your aspirational of what you are now, okay? Um, I got I got some some challenge for you, okay? There are three names that are very hard to pronounce, okay? There is one brand start with F, okay? There is one brand start from G. Okay, then there is a uh, the last the last two brand with V. Okay, I only give one Jagger. Okay, how do you spell the rest of the name? If you're able to spell it right, I give you the latest magazine of Time Place. Please. No. No. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, there are two other brands. Frederick. Okay, one. And Fasserong. Okay, how do you pronounce the last words? Okay, one last, one last piece. This magazine, actually, you can buy it. You can't buy it, actually. If you're part of our customer database, then you can subscribe this one. So it's, a, it's, it's, it's a exclusive. Anybody want to claim the last? Just give it a try. Um. <laughs> Any? Anyone give it a try? Any? Don't worry. If you have, you know, if you're shy, you come approach me after this, then you pronounce right, this is reserved for you. Okay? Thank you. Next. So, this is our our most admired CEO, okay, Pak Irwan Musri. So he is also part of the founders, okay. This picture taken from the last edition, the latest edition of Prestige Magazine, where he said that we are ready to embark a digital transformations, okay. It's not very common that luxury retailers, luxury brand, boldly say that we are going digital. Yeah, but he's a man with the words, and he will make it happen. So I'm very really honored, you know, to be part of the team, and then I've been interviewed by him. So I'm really inspiring, not just because the technology, not because the ecosystem that I'm involved, but also because of these figures and the company. Okay, next. So this is small data, okay? That's why we confidence, okay? This data, if you take pictures, okay, I don't have any responsibility because I don't put exact numbers, okay? We are very secretive when it comes to data. Yes, you can take pictures, but I don't take responsibility because the numbers is plus and minus, okay? Just to show you that we have a solid data behind. So we able to map, okay, our customer preference, yeah. Of course, it's not real time, 
but it's a data that we collect is 24 hours years old. 24 hours old. So one day late. Okay, from all our hundred stores. Okay, next. So when we start digital transformation, we don't, sorry, I just have to be quiet because there is a big name consulting there. Okay, we don't hire any consultant. We don't hire. But tell you one secret, okay? Most of those consultants actually even start their service before we build Blibli. So I mean, okay, I just want to give the reality of you. Digital is about learning. If you don't learn, if you like to be spoon-fed, the digital will not give a, a root. There is no root because you buy a book. You learn from somebody else, okay? So you have to hack it. So this is a, a, a start, startup terms where I, where I can get this, uh, this learning because I also run a startup. So I have my startup also. But my startup doesn't to do with uh, retails. It's very really grassroots. My startup is agriculture. So I learn from both, you know, two different worlds. You know, the lower part is just a food and also luxuries. The upper funnel of pyramid, yeah, the top part and the bottom. Yeah. Okay, hack learning. What is it? Next. So first is diagnose all your stakeholders. Stakeholders is mean not just on, on the owner, yeah. The stakeholders is your colleagues, your team, your customers. Okay. Most of Indonesian offline customer reside in here. Why they call it fashionista? Any any hints why they call it fashionista? Any hints? Because most of them like to take selfies. Simple as that. That's we call it the fashionistas. Is that's the main entry gate of you entering digital now. It mean that the access to digital is so close, you know. Even even my nine years old daughters have just launched her first Instagram last week. And he, he, she demand everybody to follow her. And he demand me, please follow me that. Okay, nine years old. Okay, let's be careful. Okay, it's a both, you know, double-edged sword, of course. Okay, then, of course, you have beginners. Okay, I've been in the company, okay, have before, okay, that at the stage of beginners, where they have a dream, but they don't know where they start now, where they are now, okay? Then, of course, I've been in a company that call it Digital Masters, Blibli, one of them, yeah? And, of course, conservative. So you have to able to map it, okay? Then you able, then you have to define what belong to fashionista, what belongs to them. Then you map it. Then you know where mostly your stakeholders will be. Then, next, next please. Then after that, you made your organization infrastructures, okay? People, process, and technology, because you are talking about digital, okay? Technology become one of the pillars yeah, all the time, okay? If you don't control, if you don't have the technology, okay, my personal feeling, okay? When the vendor say that, please outsource to me, I don't completely agree. You have to hack it. You have to know that this technology is fit for you. Okay? That's why majority of startup don't buy, mostly don't buy the package. They start by the more. Okay. Then after they get mature, they will buy. I have I have a lot of cases. Okay. Traveloka. Okay. I give you a magazine. If you guess, okay, what will be the Traveloka first financial software? Can you give a wild guess? Can you give a wild guess? What is the first Traveloka financial software they use when they launch? Not confirmed, but from inside, they use Zahir. Zahir, how much is cost the Hasahir? Only 20 million rupiah. 
Now, they already scrap it. They bake huge. But it's after they bake. So if you want to have a Raw Royce or Bentley at the first day, your digital, there's something wrong with the digital of you. Okay? Okay? Next. So I learned also from, I download. Basically, I download. Okay? I figure out. Okay? My background came from Ernst & Young. So I know the way of management consultant thinking. So I spent about three, three years in EY management consulting. So I tried to figure out how McKinsey, next, the key learning of McKinsey is, they said that CEO should the main driven of digital transformation. That's why now, Pak Irwan is my CEO, become a main sponsor. He should commit it, he should show it up. Okay? Pak Irwan actually have 40,000 Instagram followers. Okay, as a CEO, it's a good, it's a good start, starting point. Okay, next, we also learn from Capgemini. Okay, next, we learn also from Capgemini. If you're doing right, you can tie it with your bottom line and your top line KPI, both revenue, EBITDA, and even profit. Okay, so all the startups, all the big unicorns, able to connect this one. Then for you brand, you have to find a way how to connect with the real business numbers. Not what? Followers, engagement, likes, CPC, CPA. For me, digital is not about CPC, CPA. It's about customers. It's about people. Okay. Next. But this is the most that I'm favorite, BCG. Okay. What BCG doing is, they work together with Google. I was lucky that when I start my working in uh, uh, Time International, I was being invited by Google to the CMO bootcamp, two days, yeah, where they bring everybody in to support certain brands that they select to embark a digital transformation. So this is that I take as a basis for my thought when I start digital transformation for Time International. So I learned a lot from them. The way they define where I should start first, what, when, okay? How to apply agile, okay? The team cannot be silos, but this is a, like a stereotype. Everybody say that, uh, don't be a silo, don't be a silo, don't be a silos. But how you translate it? How you translate to HR, okay? Next. So again, everybody, if you try to find a red line, it's talking about three pillars. Only three pillars in digital transformation. One is the vision, leadership. Okay. I believe from my case, our shareholders, our CEO already buy in. Then the DCX or UX they call it, digital customer experience. Okay. Then transformation team. We don't talking about the CPA. We don't talking about GMV. We are not talking about about leads. No, this is what we are only talking. Next. So again, I translate into more numbers. Three digital objective. Sorry, I don't put any numbers in here because it's quite disclosed. So I built three rows. Okay. Then I try to divide these three rows into. 10 years of digital transformation time. So the first two years, I only improving aware and rich, okay? So I built mostly content, okay? CRM and social media, okay? The next, the enter of third years, that's where I enter of the e-commerce, okay? Next, again, we define a new cultures. Next, this is the organization that we built for this one. This is a cross department, okay? It's not completed yet, okay? One of it, yeah? If you see, the pillars is based on the three pillars that I built. Content, UX, yeah, and tech. Next, this is the digital platform that I define in a blueprint. On the right side, is your potential customer 
on the left side is your customer so how do you connect and how do you a cycle do a cycle between visitors and customer into one okay tell you what there is no one even single system that can serve all okay next then where i should start i should pick one business that willing to do transformation not not the big one not the small one. the only business that the whole bis the whole person in, inside that business are willing to it's about willingness to change this become my pilot this is one of the pilot that we done for in time so in time is considered a younger uh, brand for millennial to enter to enter our luxury product next so after that i map customer journey even a single move yeah into different uh, touch point then all the metrics is depend uh, will put what type of media what type of carrot what type of information you get it in every single boxes okay next so in the flow like this yeah first thing first is your store available in google or not when i type something what do you find a restaurant you know a school or what okay next case studies okay a quick one next i cannot mention a brand okay there is one brand okay a fashion brand next there is a growth for 2016 and 2017 they enjoy a growth of customer frequency coming to their boutiques okay next they apply this next let me explain okay here's the things the way they use mobile the way they use tablet the way they use led is synchronized in terms of price product offering product display everything in one okay that's a beauty and every price actually controlled by headquarters but in rupiah okay when the product is not available in this market the product will not display in the rack will not display in mobile not display in tablet not even display in led see how how synchronous they are when the time of purchase okay the mobile will connect with the post so the customer price the customer name already printed so the customer doesn't have to you know waiting the po uh, the invoice can be sent through your email okay i have to skip this one because of the time next next for us is about persona and personalize next do you know this movie store the best part to reflect is the last the last the last the last uh, scenes where it's about people it's about people next we try to collect until eight types of data to build the persona okay what mostly we have now is transactional data not about preference not about individual next later if the persona already been built you will have it behind the door behind the desk next this is personalized that we bought we will launch one mobile apps but the display and offering is depend on your behaviors so when you coming to our store we know that you are coming in okay without you letting know that you are coming okay i mean this technology already there okay it's a matter of whether you want to be recognized or not